Welcome back to our last week of Structure, Function, and Information Processing, which is Unit 3 for Grade 4. Throughout this unit, you've looked at many different concepts that is associate with how animals and plants work and how they survive. Last week, we began to talk a little bit about evolution, and this week we're going to go a little bit more into the specific concept of evolution in regards to Darwin. Remember, as you're going through your work, just because you don't necessarily believe in evolution doesn't make it important that you understand what evolution is. You can create your own, uh, your own opinions and epiphanies based upon the information that you have, uh, but it's good to at least understand other people's ideas and other people's concepts as well. I'm not going to say what I agree or disagree with because it's not my role to do that, and I do appreciate that many of you don't believe in uh, the concept of evolution, but there are some things about evolution that may make sense to you, uh, such as the ad adaptive changes that animals have made. Uh, and as we know, all humans, animals, and all of really everything has, has adapted to the habitats they live in. So at least we can agree on that. This week what I want you to do is, again, even though you don't agree with it, you have to learn about it, um, I want you to create a Google presentation that's titled Animal Evolution. And remember, this is taking things that you've learned about what evolution is and what other people might believe and putting them into practice. If you do agree with evolution, you can use your own thoughts and words. If you don't, take what other people have thought so that you can understand what it is then you're going to create a specific animal that has shown to evolve uh, according to Darwin and create a presentation on it. And the different animals that you can select are peppered moths, Italian wall lizard, Darwin finches, or tawny owls. So these are the four I'd like you to look at. After selecting your animal, uh, your Google presentation, and I want you to complete a little bit of research to be able to include it in your follow the, the presentation, make sure you have a title page. A little background information on the animal, so where it lives, what it eats, etc. These are things that you can find uh, through any encyclopedic uh, source. Make sure to talk about how, uh, how pe some people believe it has evolved over time and why. So that's, again, not necessarily what you believe, uh, but what the concept of evolution is telling, uh, telling us. How does it evolve, or how does evolution help in its survival? So why did it so-called evolve. And then lastly, make sure that you have a bibliography created on EasyBib of your sources. For your literacy connection this week, I want you to open that animal document, and you're going to read through every section individually to make sure you have all the requirements of the paper. So if you have to go back week by week to make sure you have everything, feel free to do that. Lastly, make sure that you read the paper out loud to someone in your family. And the reason I want you to read it out loud is because when you read to yourself, sometimes you don't catch everything because your brain skips over mistakes. When you're reading it out loud, you'll actually hear mistakes in your voice. Make sure that your paper is then ready for submission. As you're going through your uh, submission of your things for Unit 3, make sure that you look at the, the last couple pages here. So you're going to have a resources, the unit checklist is everything that has to be turned in, and then some rubrics. The first is for any presentations, the second is for the paper you're turning in, and lastly would be science concepts.